Police say he's responsible for the city's deadliest attack in nearly four years. Tonight, the man behind a shooting rampage in Dunning, Christoph Merrick, is charged in the murders of his five neighbors. CBS 2's Tara Molina is always investigating. Tara, we've learned Merrick had a history there. Brad, no criminal record, but quite the history here. We've learned of disputes, physical fights, and issues with the board, who was in the process of evicting him. Five crosses outside the condo building lit by candlelight tonight. This is where Christoph Merrick, the man a Cook County judge described as evil on steroids, is accused of taking the lives of people who shared walls and hallways with him. People like Svetanka Costa Dineva. Smart, beautiful woman with a future. Was, uh, lost her life in such a, for me, uh, it's a terrible way. According to police, she was sitting down to dinner with her husband and his parents when Merrick came through the door Saturday, shooting and killing all four of them. That's when police say he went upstairs and shot a fifth neighbor in the stomach. When she tried to run, he shot her in the back of the head. Nobody expected because we never, she never talked about having any problems with any neighbors. Neighbors and investigators told us another story about Merrick's issues here when he noticeably changed two years ago. He lost his title as condo president. He filed for bankruptcy. Foreclosure lawsuits were filed against him, and the board was in the process of evicting him. That's not all. Neighbors say he was violent before, when he punched the son of one of the victims in the face out of the blue. Detectives found notes in his place about issues with neighbors. One taped to the inside of his door, written in Polish, translated to, quote, no mercy, remember whatever they do to you. You control it yourself, not them. Enough. They have to pay for it. Now, we reached out to state police about Merrick. They tell us they can't tell us whether he had a FOID card or a concealed carry license. But we do know that he is being held without bail, without bond tonight. Reporting in Dunning, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. All Brad? Right. Tara Molina, thank you.